Talk to me about oh, the no. gonorrhea then. Okay. Let's talk about that. Because as a kid, I guess you probably saw that at the state fair. Um, yes, the monorail. The monorail, monorail right? Um, I, I think that it all started at the state fair of Oklahoma and opened in 1964. Okay. Um, I wrote it as yeah. a kid. Uh, I thought it's amazing. It's it just like they, they cut it off. They uh, stopped it, right? You think that'd be great part for Oklahoma history, right? Mm-hmm. Or keep um, it. Yeah. Well, it was a miserable ride. <laughs> <laughs> Is uh, it worse riding it now than it was then? Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> well, it, yeah. The no idea. No seatbelts back then. The idea yeah. it was going to be the mass transportation for Oklahoma. That's State. right. 100%. They were going to put those everywhere. Hundred yeah, percent. Right? Now right. we have the well, streetcar. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, which in ten years that thing's going down to next trip. <laughs> Um, as soon as uh, you got in, yeah, right. The sun was shining. It was thirty degrees hotter in that. It's thing. like a glass a a green greenhouse. Yeah, right? a greenhouse. Yeah. Growing plants sure. in there. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> and it was miserable. Uh, yeah, you know the air conditioning didn't work very well. Um, it was, um, you know, the way that the doors worked, they really couldn't seal it up. Mm-hmm. Um, it rattled and banged and. Uh, yeah, there was, there was a lot, a lot of problems with it, you know. Uh, in order to fill all the seats, you had to climb over seats, yeah. you know, to get in. Um, but did you enjoy it, it? It looked cool. Oh, as a kid, I loved it. <laughs> right. yeah. you know? I think top speed was like maybe six miles an hour Yeah. Um, uh, whenever it first started. And then uh, whenever we decided that we were going to build something— and uh, we were going to race uh, uh, another garage out of Texas called Air, uh, Gas Monkey. It was get, Gas it, Monkey. We were going to race Aaron called Misfits. It, okay. The Misfit Garage. And uh, I just wanted something unusual, and that was on Craigslist. And uh, we went and got it. And we didn't have much money to work with. Um, so got, somebody is selling this. Someone is selling. The caboose, <laughs> right? The very end of it, because mm-hmm. all that stuff went to auction, yeah. which surprised me, you know, that they took down the Space Needle, right. you know, uh, they took down the monorail, all the history mm-hmm. at the State Fair. Mm-hmm. I realized it was going to cost a lot of money to get the Space Needle up and mm-hmm. running, mm-hmm. but we wanted to try to get a GoFundMe page. Yeah. We could have easily raised enough money with all of the Oklahomans, yeah. you know, that would want to they see that. Wanted the people who have ridden that, like yeah. yourself as a kid. Yes. Yeah. Uh, and we could have saved it. Put it in a park. You know? Yeah. You know, it's something. Uh, yeah, we like know. the blue whale of Katusa. This <laughs> yeah. is just crazy. Right. So we, we know yeah. that it costs a lot of money to take down. Right. You know, so we could have used part of that money with a GoFundMe page. Um, the monorail was miserable. No one wanted to ride it. Yeah. You know, uh, and then they left a section of it out there up uh, as a piece of history for the state fair. And then a storm came along, knocked it all down, and then they just chunked it all. Well, yeah. it was actually tragedy, right. too. That's right. There was a tragedy with uh, a truck not paying it, a, a oh, truck, oh, truck right. driver trying okay. to go under the, yes. and I think it, yeah, I don't know yeah, the whole yeah. story, but he ended up not. Right. That's right. So yeah. um, I think there was a liability there. So I can understand, um, you know, it was just easier to make it go away, but yeah. we wanted to jump on board right. you know, and try to save this stuff. So obviously, uh, whenever this, whenever this um, monorail came up on Craigslist, uh, I was all over it. Yeah. You know, we were going to make a race car out of this thing. Um, and it turned out that, uh, you know, I was wanting, I thought that I wanted the engine, the front mm. part, right? But the only thing available was this caboose. Well, when you turn it around the other way, uh, you know, we're uh, left-hand steer. Yeah. And the door was on the left-hand side, so it all worked out perfect. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and the caboose was lighter, it okay. was just an aluminum frame with some stainless steel, fiberglass. Uh, it was still pretty heavy because the thing wound up weighing 4,500 pounds, and that's pretty heavy for a yeah, race car. Yeah. Um, anyway, um, it almost killed us whenever we built that thing for the show. Um, there again, uh, my engine builder, uh, Mark Brown, out of Salina, Kansas, Advanced Engine Machine, he built an LS motor for it that made... 1800 horsepower with a pro charger um and the thing is ridiculous yeah um if you know every once in a while we'll get it out and we'll drive it around uh and it's a little since it's all-wheel drive um if you're not in the right spot um 
and you put it to the floor, it'll change lanes on you. Yeah, you got to pay attention. You got to pay attention. It's a powerful yeah, machine. it is. It's different.